Lesson 3 is about perimeter and circumference. Now perimeter, that word, peri basically means around, meter means measure, so you're measuring the distance around an object when you figure out its perimeter. And that could be like a complex shape, like maybe like a coat hanger. You could figure out the perimeter or the distance around that coat hanger. We'll be looking at more simplified shapes than coat hangers like squares and other types of polygons. And then we'll also talk about circles as well. If you recall circumference, that's just a special name for the perimeter of a circle. Let's just look at this practice problem here to understand what perimeter is. You've been given a rectangle. You remember from lesson two, a rectangle that has two pairs of parallel sides. All the angles are right angles to each other and those pairs of parallel sides are not necessarily equal to each other. This rectangle has a length of 12 and a width of 4 and what you need to do is find its perimeter. Well a good thing to do when you're first learning about perimeter or reviewing it is to make a picture of a rectangle. So let's go ahead and do that and let's add the lengths of all the sides. So the width is 4, so this side would be 4 and that side would be 4. The length is 12, so those two sides would have lengths of 12. Okay, And so you know that perimeter, that means the measure around. So just add all those lengths together. That's all you have to do. And so to find the perimeter, we just say 4 plus 12 plus 4 plus 12. I usually like to just add in pairs, so 4 plus 12 is 16, and then plus the other 4 plus 12 is 16, and so that is equal to 32. Now, when we're doing perimeter, we're usually measuring a length, or we're always measuring a length, and so it's a good idea to have units here. So let's just go ahead and include some units. Let's say that we're using units of inches. Okay, so our length is 12 inches, our width is 4 inches, so that means the perimeter would equal 32 inches. And always remember, on a perimeter problem, whenever you have a measurement there, you always need to include the units. It's basically half of your answer. We can't just say, well, that has a perimeter of 32. Well, 32 what? Say you were trying to build something, maybe like a fence to go around your yard and you needed to know how much fencing you needed. Well, you'd have to measure a perimeter first and that would tell you how the total length of fencing that would be required. If you said, went to the store and said, I need 32, that's my perimeter, they'd say, well, what, 32 yards, 32 meters, 32 feet, what are you t trying to tell me here? So the units are just as important as the number part of your answer. Always try to remember that. Let's do another one. You've been given that you have a square and the length of a side is 10 meters. Now remember a square, all the sides are the same length, so you just need to know the length of one side. Find the perimeter. And so what we want to do there, we can draw a picture. Squares are pretty easy though because we know all their sides are the same length. But we can just go ahead and do that. And we just add all those sides up. It'd be simpler just to multiply 10 by 4, right? Because 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is the same thing as 4 times 10, which equals 40. And our units are meters here, so we would say 40 meters. That's the perimeter around that square shape. Let's do another one. This time we've been given a circle, and it has a radius of 3 inches, and we want to find the perimeter of that circle. Well, perimeter of a circle, that's what its circumference is. And there's a math formula that you have to use to figure out the circumference or perimeter of a circle. And that's equal to 2 times pi times the radius. And if you remember that pi, that's just a symbol that means approximately this number, 3.14. Now we've rounded that to two decimal places. It goes on forever. The decimal places go on to infinity. But that's a good estimate of that number. So 2 times pi times the radius. That's what the perimeter or circumference of a circle is equal to. And the 2 
times the radius. Remember in multiplication the order does not matter that the values are in. So we could say 2 times r times pi or 2 times pi times r. 2 times r, that means twice the radius or the diameter. So we could also say pi times diameter. And that just happens to be a property of circles for whatever reason that's just how God made circles the circumference of them is equal to pi times their diameter or pi times twice the radius and that symbol pi that's just a Greek letter is all that is a lot of times Greek letters are used as symbols in mathematics and in science so let's just go ahead and figure out what the perimeter or circumference of the circle is with a radius of three inches we would just say two times pi times three and I'll just put that three in parentheses parentheses means multiplication when you don't have an addition or subtraction sign in there now on a problem like this I think it's okay to use a calculator just to speed up the process a little bit the goal in a geometry problem is not to know how to do multiplication necessarily it's how to apply that formula of the circumference to figure out the circumference and so we would say two times 3.14 times 3 and you get 18.84 as an answer and the units there are inches so we say I n as an abbreviation for inches 18.84 inches would be the circumference or perimeter for a circle with a radius of 3 inches so when you're trying to figure out the circumference of a circle the most important thing is how to apply that formula not necessarily that you can multiply 2 times 3.14 but that you know oh I need this formula 2 pi r which is the same thing as pi times diameter to calculate the circumference for a circle I have to use that formula to do that let's do a couple more practice problems these will be a little more complicated we'll have to break these shapes up into circumferences or perimeters that we're familiar with and so we have here looks like a basketball key if you know if you play basketball a lot it looks like the key to a basketball court and what I want you to do is find the perimeter here and we'll use units of meters on this one so everything's in meters now think about what we know about perimeter that means distance around or measure around a shape and so we know that that bottom length is seven meters and we can assume here that these are right angles so this is kind of a rectangular shape and then it's got that half of a circle on the end and so if the bottom is seven meters then the top is also seven but what's the left side well what you have to do is you have to go and look at that circle and since the circle has a radius of four meters we know then that the distance from here to here is four meters and then from the center to the bottom is also four meters and so that's a total of eight meters and so this side is equal to eight meters now my figure is not exactly to scale here but that's okay we're just trying to understand the idea here that when you have a missing side like that on the left it's the same as the diameter of that circle on the right you'll see these shapes that has the half circle and then the rectangle combined you'll see those shapes a lot in the Saxon textbook so it's important to know how to work with those okay so now we have three sides of that rectangle and then that half a circle and we add those lengths together and that will give us the total perimeter so let's just go ahead and start on the bottom we'd have seven plus eight plus seven and then we have half of a circle there so we can say two times pi times the radius of 4 divided by 2 since it's half of a circle that's real important to remember you just gotta think to yourself oh I'm working with half a circle the perimeter is just from here around to there that's the perimeter for that section that's equal to 2 times pi times 4 over 2 so real quickly here the 2's would cancel and so we end up with, let's just add in pairs here, 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 7 
plus pi times 4 that would be equal to 12.56 okay so now we have 15 plus 7 is 22 plus 12.56 is equal to 34.56 and those units are meters real important to put the units on there let's do one more I want you to find the perimeter of this shape so just look at it closely and you can see there that you have a half a circle on both sides there and there and then I've drawn that right angle box there so you know that those angles are right angles on the inside so if the top length there is six centimeters and what that means is from the place where that half circle starts that distance in between so that's what the six centimeters encompasses is those that distance there and so on the bottom this would also be six centimeters as well okay so basically we have two half circles that are two centimeters in radius each and so that would equal a whole circle right so you always want to try to do these problems as in the most simplified form that you can add those two six centimeter lengths together and we can just do that in our head and that would be 12 plus the two half circles which would just make a whole circle with a circumference of 2 times pi times the radius of 2 and so that gives us 12 plus 4 pi which is equal to 12 plus 12.56 and so that equals 24.56 centimeters let's do one more problem now on this one it's just a polygon and what I like to do is just kind of travel around the polygon and add up as I go and so I'll start here where I'm making this red dot and go to the left and that length there is 7 and then I'll go up add another 7 then across here now I don't know what that length is but let's look at something here they're not going to give you a problem where you don't you can't figure out the length of the sides unless they just messed up on the problem which is probably not the case so there's a way to figure out that missing length there look at the bottom length that's seven and then look at these two horizontal lengths from here to here and then from here to here those two would add up to seven they would have to and of course we can always assume that all the angles inside are all right angles so those two lengths would have to add up to the total length of the bottom since one of those lengths is four the other one must be three I didn't put units on here let's use units of feet for everything okay so now we know that length is four then the next one on the outside as we go around we have another four so add that then another four so we'll add that and then we have one more length to go here and we're back at our starting point we don't know that value but again look at this vertical side on the right there we know that's four we know the total vertical length is seven so that must be a three and we can just go ahead and write that on there as well put a three there so now we have all of our sides perimeter is the measure of all the sides of the measure around an object so now let's go ahead and add and I usually like to add in pairs 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 3 plus 4 is 7 plus another 4 plus 3 is 7 14 plus 7 is 21 plus 7 is 28 feet so on that particular problem there it's important to recognize that you have some missing sides and you can figure that out first try to calculate those first and then go ahead and add all your sides or you can do it like I did and just start at one side and figure out those missing ones when you come up to them however you're more comfortable with okay well that's all for lesson three